guys, welcome back to hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Last Federation. So we're doing pretty good right now in terms of brokering relationships between everyone. Everyone seems to like us a lot and we're starting to become like major fans of almost everyone. I mean everyone's really the races that we want to be peaceful are peaceful. The races that are kind of hating each other are hating each other, which is I won't say necessarily bad, it's just you know, could be one of the greatest things in the world. <laughs> um, well, basically, when I want to, I'm farming. I'm farming uh, space factories from the Andors, who are insanely weak right now because the other races keep attacking them, which makes my life a whole lot easier. All right, and let's see. We need the Federalist and Benevolent Deity will cost uh, by as many as 15 seeds. Yeah, let's do that. We can passion speech. There we go. Keeping them in power. Oh wow. They're getting really close to not being in power anymore. Let's go right here, Federalist. Go right there. Boom boom. That should make them. Nah, it's still not out of running, but it's good enough. Okay, so let's see. Uh, these two nations are insanely. The Peltians and the uh, Andors are probably going to be how I'm going to form this federation. Let's see. Let's see. Federalist Party, speak on your behalf. Uh, will cost. Uh, speak on your behalf of the Bullas. No, if. Convince, convince others to join the federation. Let's see. Go right here. Let's see. Wait, wait, has anyone built the anti federation yet? No, no one's built the anti federation. Good. Okay, because the Anti-Federation becomes an annoying, annoying place to deal with if I have to deal with that. But anyways, let's see. Convinced to form the Federation safely. Has 90% relationships. Okay, we're getting very close. Almost all of these guys are getting very, very close. Which is good. Let's see. Andors, how would I form it over here? Uh, create for elevation with other race. Okay, I could just do it. I just need enough credit. I have enough credit right now. Which is good. What I'm going to do though, just to make sure I do have enough credit, is... Oh. Are there no pirates right now? Really? Let's see. Yeah, wow. Everyone destroyed all the pirates. Dang. Okay then. Let's see. Uh, between... I'm going to have to improve this Galaxian and Andorian relationship. So let's just sit right here. Improve, rela improve relationship with the other race. Galaxians, 20 months. By then, these two races should be happily, you know, becoming friends, which is going to be nice. Uh, hopefully that's not them being at war with each other. Okay, good. It's not them being at war with each other. Okay. Because uh, once a nation goes to war, it's very hard for them to recover and become friends. Okay. Man, you guys are really stubborn. You guys really don't... Okay, you guys respect them. Okay, good. Okay, it's at least halfway received. Um, between the relationships of the Peltians and... Okay. I could probably speed this along just a little bit. Well, actually, no, I couldn't because, like... Let's see. If I create... Would I have to do it from here? Would I have to do it from the other guys? Let's see. If I want to create... Join... No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Broker trade. Anyone I can broker trade. Scalaxians. Keep brokering trade between the Scalaxians. Don't break off that trade, whatever you guys do. I know you guys really want to, but please don't. Um, break off trade. No, don't do that. Uh, okay. So I want to join, if I want to form this safe federation, am I going to have to make everyone else like the uh, Peltians? Because let's see, the relationship between them and the Peltians are uh, less than what I'd like it to be. But let's see, what, can I form it from just the Scalaxians or would I have to use both? To, Cause I'm trying to form the safe, form the federation safely. Attitude towards both the Andors and Scalaxians that both of them must have 100 towards Peltians. Do not need to like each other. Okay. So form this. Apparently, I'm going to need to do it. Let's see. Uh. Okay. So these two are gonna, these two are gonna need to like each other. Okay. And I don't need those other two to like each other, so I guess what we're going to need to do is get the Peltians to like each other. So let's go for like a 60 month improvement rate. This is going to be a long time. A lot of things can happen, but good thing the other races are kind of keeping each other in check, which is what I really like. Somebody's attacking my friends, which I don't like. Uh, 
It seems like it's Yakushian's test. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure they have more armada for them, so they're not going to be able to do anything. Yeah, it seems like relationship-wise, everyone's getting all muffled. This is like... <laughs> Oh man, this this is like the point of the game where like everything is like all wild and crazy and just wow. Okay, so the bullying are also becoming really really crazy. Uh, like really insanely crazy in terms of powerful. So let's see, in terms of relationship wise, uh with the bullying, don't really hate anyone I really do need to attack. Yeah, they they're actually helping us in most of our cases, so I don't want to attack them because they're actually helping us. Uh Acutians though, I may need to go attack. You may need to go attack these guys too right here so they don't die. And let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Relationship wise, how are you doing with both of these guys? Uh, the Andors are now venerated, which is good. The Sklaxines are still friendly, which is what we kind of need to get up. So let's see. Is there any kind of trade we can broker? Because you guys have been completely and utterly apprehensive towards trade. I don't know why. But you guys don't want to trade. Okay, Peltians. Good. You guys have stuff to trade. Good. Okay, you guys get that. You guys get that. You guys get this. You guys get this. Yes, just keep improving relationships between each other. Yes, just keep improving relationships. GI. Oh my goodness, I think they might have actually discovered more stuff than I thought they did. Wow. Okay, so now they like each other even more. Uh, yes, now the Peltians are friendly, at least in one direction. Hey, visitors. Now I'm getting attacked by, like, assassins, because obviously, um, obviously I've been doing a lot of stuff to mess up people, and they don't like that, but I'm honestly gonna retreat. I don't really wanna, I really don't wanna fight. Okay, let's get down here, give it a second. Yeah, I'm really, these guys are really becoming, oh wow, wow, wow. Uh, lots of things are happening, can I stop, can we stop simulating? Thank you. Okay, holy sh- Oh wait, oh wait, that's still good, that's still good, okay. Whew. I thought for a second that, that this was actually becoming really bad. Um, Skalaxians and Peltian relationships are almost solidified. I almost got them to the point where they will like each other. Um, kind of getting worried about the bullying, though. They're becoming insanely powerful. Uh, Anti-Federation formed yet? Because I still don't want that to form. But I know it probably will. Yeah, because all the stuff I'm doing, of course, it's going to form. And for computer advisors, let's see. Uh, Mark 3, you and I. Alright, so I have to get Mark 3 now. Uh, research development. Mark 3. Oh, wait, that's going to take 58 months. Heck no, am I going to do that? <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go see who does have it then. Let's see. Do you guys have Mark 3? Because I'm going to steal from one of you guys. I just don't know which one yet. You guys don't have it, that's good. D-Box, you guys have it. Let's see, Raid for Technology. Mark 2. Uh, Med Upgrade. They do have a couple things I would like, actually. Hmm. Okay, let's let's go away from there for now, because I do want to get Mark 3, just because it'd be much more... We can't really do anything with them, because they're very secretive people. Let's see, what about you guys? Okay, it must be only my allies who have these advanced technology, which I'm perfectly fine with. I don't really care that much. As long as as long as it's not one of those other guys that have it and I have to stop fighting them. You guys though, let's see, would I be able to get anything out of you guys? Uh take me 58 months to discover Mark III ships. Well this no one else has them though, so it's really not really that big of an issue. So let's go right here. Uh, hostile axe, attack perimeter defense, and let's go get this. Oh, I love these things. Okay, I don't. Even, I think I'm gonna win this pretty easily, guys. Watch this. Oh wait, it didn't do exactly what I wanted to. Do. Whoops. Seems like it was a different thing that I thought it was. Okay, let's just keep destroying these things, though. Oh man. Destroy the same. Thank you. Okay. A little bit less shields, a little bit more power. Destroy these things. Yeah, there we go. Alright, one more flagship remaining. Where is it? Where is the flagship? Alright, where's the flagship? Alright, let's send out my own drones just to help out a little bit with this big gigantic cluster thing. 
Um, I'm pretty sure the, the drone ship is over there, so I'm going to increase the thrusters, power, and let's go! Onwards to victory! Whee! Yeah, it seems like it's all firing up here. No, no, no. There it is! Alright, found it. Let's go get this thing and go kill it! Let's go kill it, everyone! Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go! Faster, faster, faster! Man, this thing's fast. I'm pretty sure it must be weak to like. Okay, now that we're kind of in range, delete that, put up more of that, alright, and fire. Shoot around, shoot around, quickly, 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 before it gets out of range. Dang it, this thing's fast, alright. Less shields, more power. We're gonna have to keep up with this thing. This thing's gonna kill me if I don't get it for long. Yeah, it's only had to do the shot. There we go, victory! Huzzah! Alright, next. Now what we're going to do is we're now going to do hostile actions, capture outpost, and just like sit here and casually conquer the outpost because no one else is around to save them. <laughs> Which is nice. This is a really nice moment. When no one else is around, you can just sit here and conquer an outpost. <laughs> there we go. Done with that. Improve relationship with all these guys. It's good. Friendly Axe, let's see who do I have to give the outpost to. Scalaxians now idolize me, Peltians now idolize me, Endors idolize me. So everyone idolize me that need to idolize me. So let's give it to the Scalaxians then, because Scalaxians could definitely use it to betterment themselves. Okay, next, go right here to Scalaxian Homeworld. Uh, gift technology, looks like there aren't any valid texts for these choices. Ooh, okay, seems like you already gave up technology, good. Let's go to Andor's gift technology of Mark to upgrade to who? Uh, yeah. Let's yeah, let's give them that. That way they're about as advanced as they need to be. Okay. And let's see. Uh, let's help defend against whatever whatever people are trying to uh, sport destroy spy probes. Okay. Well, actually, they haven't reached it yet, so I'm gonna have to wait just a little bit before that happens. Let's see. How's your guys' pirate exodus? Not too bad. It's not exactly terrible. You guys right now need to like each other a little bit more, so what we're going to do is do a long, long improved relationships. Okay, you guys improve relationship with the Scalaxians. Dang it, we can't do it yet. Now that they're already advanced enough, we can't do it anymore. Dang it! Okay. Well then, can you guys book a trade? No. You guys can't book a trade because I don't know why, but you guys just can't. Okay, let's see then. Right here, can I improve relationships through this side maybe? And or Peltian, no. Research technology, uh, I kind of need Mark III, just saying. You and I. So let's just get that. Done with. I'm just gonna have to simulate time for a little bit while the rest of the race is killing each other. Uh, oh, shoot, the Acutians are now getting closer. I'm gonna have to destroy that a little bit. No, it seems like the other races are actually starting to connect in, which is good. Yeah, they actually destroyed it. Wow. Okay, so that's really good right there. So now we got three technology three, which means now we can uh, research new technology. Let's see, how much do these guys like each other now? There's like Peltians. Uh, Peltians are still 52. Dang it. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to figure out a way to get these guys to like each other. And the only way I could think of that they could actually like each other. Let's see, let's get you and I upgrade. Let's go. Let's see, the Acutians also building up power. I have to be a little bit worried about that. Uh, no, no, they got destroyed. That was really quick. Um. Okay, and once we get third industry. technology, we should, uh, we should be very advanced. We should be very advanced. Okay, yes, and let's see. Anyone else we need to? Yeah, we got exactly the technology we need to do, so now everyone else is really, really happy with us. Let's see. Uh, Senate wise, give tribute to the Senate. Yacht. Okay, effectiveness on. Scalaxians, 50%. Uh, sure. Yeah, wh whatever. Okay, book a trade between you guys and the Andorians. 
Uh, let's see, let's create that. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.